Actually, you can't even range in party chat. I got chat restricted for my messages in party chat. Wholesome Riot Games, I agree. <laughs> okay, this guy is super passive for some reason. Oh, not anymore. I think crashing third versus range champs is not that good. Because then he slow pushes back on... Uh... Oh yeah, maybe, I don't know. It's fine. But he, not, like, he gets level up and he can't really contest. That's mainly why it's bad, I think. But this way I can still play. Lovely. I have no second wind and I have no MR. He doesn't have TP though. I can't Q on them, I think. Maybe I can. It's kinda close. I wanted to wait for him to queue and then I flash over his queue. This is not bad though. Q flash does not work if he's a human. If he if I Q flash, he should flash it in time. Because he can flash in a way where This is really good for me. Um, if I go for Q and I try to flash after him, he can flash like up here. And I, I'm not in range to Q hit him with my body. It depends on where he flashes. If he flashes near me, obviously I can react. Just do it, trust me. Just send it. Oh my god. <laughs> Tell me that. God, why are you top lane? Like, what is this gang? And that's my Lee gang, the Q. Nice, man. He does have flash, so I should be a bit careful. I think it's just dead though. Oh, nice. Team diff. Rip. I feel so, I don't know. I feel so confused this game. I should maybe just shut up and focus. Oh, we have Maldron. Should be easy game then. Or Malrang, I guess you pronounce it.
when she went for the Q hair, I thought she would go for Clash QW. So I don't react to her, to her ball. It would be a mistake because it's easier, like it's not that hard to react to if you expect it, but I was still expecting her to go for it. She, oh, she used flash on Rakan's W, I did not even see. Why is he standing still? Like trying to dodge my Q by standing still. I haven't seen that before. Even if she has flash in the situation, you still go for it. Majority of the time, if they are full HP, they won't like flash your ult, even though they should. They take your, they tank your ult, get low, and then when they are low, they flash away. So they live, but they lose like seventy percent HP. This E by me is very bad. Okay. Mad running insane. And during all of this, I had a frozen wave, so she was losing minions. I don't need this guy top lane. I don't know why he's top lane. This happens way too often where people put in resources in a lane that's already like super one. Thank you, Karamir. He goes immediately. And he stands still again. Different thing. Too good. <laughs> oh my god, I feel bad. I don't know why he's standing still. Why am I building little Ori? Okay, Ori might not be the strongest champion, but she's still a ranged champ. Playing ranged champions top lane is just haram. You can't. I mean, I think we can dive, but... Oh, I guess someone is coming. Never mind then. Rutet is haram, yes. I don't think you need me to say it though. 
that one is kind of obvious. He clashed, that's not bad. And he altered as well. What is remaining on breakfast in your country? What does that mean? I can't walk up. Because Fiddle is definitely nearby. Yep. If I walk up, I'm just one shot. I missed my Q and he missed RW. Okay, she still dies. Isn't shieldball good here against their comp? I think if I was laning against Zed, or if I or like if this guy was very far ahead or Zed was very far ahead, I can't really go Bork. But because I'm far ahead, I can go Bork. Like playing the game with with Bork when you're behind, it just kind of doesn't work against this comp. They have too many ways of one shotting you. But in this case, where I'm ahead, I can still tank a decent bit. And once I get BT into my third item, I'm like, it's way better to have this build over the other build at that point. Happened to the old BT2 daggers build. BT got nerfed. Going BT first item is nerfed. Like it got nerfed overall, but especially first item, it's like mega nerf. Damn, missed cannon. I wanted to get my Q3. BT went from 180 shield to 450 to 100 to 400. So late game it's just 50 damage nerf, which is super tiny obviously, but early game it's quite a bit.
I might die. Like, never mind, I'm good. If Zed has his stuff up, I'm dead. And if he just moved. My ult was kinda bad as well. The white boy. At this point, though, I think my build is way better than going shield ball. Now I have my shield, I have overheal, and I can go any item I want. Like this game, I think going QSS into Jack Show seems pretty good. Or maybe just Jack Show immediately. Also works. And I'm one shot. Great. My bad. Oh, am I fair? I assume we pressed Q. Or did they get fared instantly? Actually, I think I got fared instantly. I don't know, I don't really recall. Like, either way, I'm dead though. I have to play around Fiddle. I can, then, like, I can never push up because of Fiddle Sticks. Oh, we see for the law. This guy deals no damage. Like, it's so unfair at this point, having this build. Like, look, he deals no damage, and I'm one-shotting him. Very balanced. Bork and BT, very balanced items. My team is griefing, though. What is my team doing? I think we get there in time still. I'll take this turret, and I can TP. Oh god, maybe they one-shot me. Never mind. Fine. He went to chain. And he did not put chain on Zaya. I guess he put it on fiddlesticks, I assume. Oh. 
Oh, that's kind of smart. Ghost Chain puts it on their only AP threat because this guy is way too far behind. Oh, wait, no, it didn't. I don't know who it put it on. I'm confused, but it would make sense. Oh, you put it on Zed. I don't know if that's correct. I feel like you put it on Fiddlesticks, and then you just go full armor. Oh, he doesn't die. Unlucky. Is that worth my flash? Not really, but I feel like we're winning the game now anyway. Oh god, please don't tell me I die. No. I ruined my kid, yeah. I can go QSS, I can go IU. Like the issue with going QSS, I go QSS, I remove his fair, but then these people are dealing so much damage on me, I feel like. I think I still should though. Like I don't have to deal damage to skim. If I can get a big stun or a big Q3, that's good enough. Why am I abusing Yona? Because I'm evil like that. I do anything for LP. Build IE, you guys are so ahead. Usually when you're far ahead, building tank items is way more broken than building IE. Or like building damage. So saying I'm ahead and I should build IE is like opposite logic. <laughs> 